Without a doubt, Squeak has been rising in the meta and in my opinion, he is the best brawler in the entire game. In today's video, we're going to be diving into everything you guys need to know about Squeak, so without further ado, let's go ahead and hop straight into the video. Alright, so first things first, let's go ahead and talk about Squeak's best build. You guys want to be using the Residue Gadget, the Chain Reaction Star Power, and the Damage and Health Gears. So first off, let's go ahead and talk about his Residue Gadget. If you guys don't know what this gadget does, Squeak's next sticky blob leaves a residue area behind after exploding, slowing down enemies and giving allies sight into bushes for 10 seconds. Now the reason that I think Residue is going to be the better gadget is because of how much area control it provides for Squeak. You can use this gadget to block off choke points in hot zone or gem grab for example. Or say for example inside a gem grab you can go ahead and use this gadget and place it on top of all the gems. If the enemies really want to get to those gems to try and start a countdown they're going to have to walk on top but they're going to be slowed down. And even more so if you are using this inside of a bush you're going to be able to spot them in those bushes. So overall this gadget is super annoying to play against and this is why you need to run this gadget. Now the star power you guys need to be using for Squeak is going to be Chain Reaction. If you guys don't know what Chain Reaction does, each opponent within the area of a sticky Bloms explosion increases the Bloms damage by 20%. Now Squeak as you guys know doesn't deal with a whole ton of DPS and especially with his reloads being kind of slow, so being able to deal as much damage as possible is going to help you just take enemies out a lot quicker. And when you do stick people with the sticky Bloms, there is that little radius around them, so if people are walking near their teammates you're going to be dealing extra damage to everybody and this is why it's ideal to mainly play at squeak in like hot zone mainly in hot zone people are bunched up together and that is when you can possibly get the chance to deal 20 percent extra damage to everybody now for squeak's gears you guys want to be using damage and health the reason you guys want to be using damage is because like i just stated squeak doesn't deal a whole ton of damage unless you kind of combine this damage gear with his chain reaction star power if squeak is low and people are near each other you're just going to be dealing a whole ton of damage and it's going to really change a lot of different engagements between brawlers. For some brawlers you may be able to 4 shot them but maybe with the damage gear and chain reaction be able to 3 shot them. It can really make or break a lot of different interactions and I think that damage gear overall is going to be good for a lot of brawlers. Now this one might be interesting to a lot of people but I think health gear is going to make the most sense here. Squeak already at power 11 he's going to have 5400 health which is actually pretty good considering he you know he's not a tank or anything like that. So with a brawler that already has 5400 health it's going to be important for him to try and stay alive. Like I just stated as well earlier, his reload speed isn't the greatest, so when you are trying to get ammo back, it's going to be important that you are healing up. Now I know this may sound kind of productive because with damage gear you want to be low, but with health gear you want to be healing up, right? But when you are low on ammo and you need to heal up, health gear is going to help you get back up to max HP a lot quicker. So overall, I think that this build is going to be overall the best for Squeak. Alright, that's all I got for Squeak's best build. Let's go ahead and talk about his best game modes. Alright, so obviously the best game mode that I was just talking about a little bit earlier is going to be Hot Zone. The main reason is because you can block off a lot of choke points or you can even use your attacks in Super to block off the Hot Zones. If you place your attacks on top of the Hot Zone, they're not going to be wanting to stand on top of it because obviously they're going to get hit by it, right? And if you even combine this with this Residue Gadget and you place it on top of the Hot Zone, they're going to be slowed and it's going to make it a lot easier for you to hit your attacks. Even with using Squeak Super, however, even if they are sold by the residue gadget it's going to make it a lot easier for you to fully hit your super but especially on hot zone maps like dueling beetles or open zone where there's only one hot zone obviously the enemy team is going to try and stay on that hot zone and keep control of it all together so this just makes it a perfect opportunity for squeak to just go in and use up all of his attacks and get them off that hot zone squeak has to be one of the best control brawlers in the game especially for hot zone so i definitely recommend you guys play him in this game mode now if you guys don't really like hot zone i definitely recommend playing him in gem grab as a second best game mode but a reason why squeak can be a solid option inside a gem grab is because not only he can block off choke points like he can in hot zone but he can also place his residue gadget super and just attacks in general where the gems spawn it's just gonna make it that much more annoying and more difficult for the enemy gem carrier to get those gems but this is why squeak overall can be a solid gem carrier as well because he can pretty much out control other gem carriers and extra brownie points if you guys are playing squeak on a map like double swoosh where there's bushes you can use that residue gadget to block it off so if people try to walk over it you're gonna be able to see them but overall squeak is a very versatile brawler you guys can technically play him in a lot of different game modes which is why he's so good in the meta right now but all right that's all i got for his best game modes let's go ahead and go over some of his best tips and tricks now the most common tip obviously and i've been talking about it throughout this entire video is you need to be using his attack his super his residue gadget to get people away from the main point of the map for example you want to keep people away from capturing hot zones you want to keep people away from from getting to the brawl ball you want to keep people away from getting to the gems it's all about control in brawl stars so you need to be using squeak 
very strategically to make sure that you and your team gain control and the enemy team cannot gain any control whatsoever. Also something that kind of goes hand in hand with this tip is you don't want to be using all of your attacks up at the same time. This reload speed isn't the fastest in the game so you want to be conserving it kind of like playing Tara where you want to be saving your ammo as much as you can and you only want to be using it when you absolutely have to. For example when people are sold by the residue gadget and you know for a fact you can hit them that's when you should use up all your ammo. Or say for example everybody is stacked on that hot zone you can basically spray in like three different parts of that hot zone and just push them off completely. Other than that I'll try to space them out because if like an assassin like Leon or Mortis for example gets close to you and you have no ammo yeah you're pretty much 100% dead. Now another tip about Squeak I feel like people forget about him is that his attacks can actually hit through walls. So say for example you're playing on dueling beetles and there's those little walls in the front of the hot zone you can go ahead and just keep on spamming against those walls and hit people that may be trying to heal up or that are just hiding behind them. This is why Squeak is such a good versatile brawler because he can be good against throwers as well. If there's throwers camping behind those walls just being super annoying Squeak can be a very good brawler to just hit through those walls and hit those throwers. So just remember that the next time you guys are playing on a map that has a decent amount of walls he can be a very solid option for you guys there. Now another thing you guys need to remember is that Squeak's attacks are delayed. It's not like ready to shoot your attack his bombs explode right? So you need to make sure that you are keeping your distance away from like a lot of tanks and shotgun brawlers. For example like I stated if a Leon or a Mortis gets closer you're pretty much dead. So you want to be sticking near your teammates or just keep them the hell away from you because if they get close to you you're done. This goes for any other brawler it doesn't have to be an assassin necessarily so just keep your distance from anybody because his attacks take forever to explode. But this can also work to your advantage because if the bombs take forever to explode it's going to keep people away and they're not going to want to walk into them. So use this advantage and take control of the map that way. Now I'll just briefly talk about Squeak Super. I'd highly recommend you guys try to land this super fully onto an enemy brawler. I know it's very difficult to try and do this because they're constantly moving or whatever it may be but I'd recommend you just try to use it to hit them square on. Now this is why Squeak could be viable in like heist because obviously the heist safe is moving and if you land your super fully onto the heist safe yeah you're gonna do a ton of damage but if you're not playing Squeak on heist it can be a pretty useless super so it try your best to just hit them full on. If you're playing against enemies that really know how to dodge Squeak just try to use your super to just gain control and just push people away from wherever you need to be. Now let's say in a scenario you guys are playing against Squeak and the enemy Squeak is trying to bomb you with their super. Try to learn the super pattern. Most of the time it's going to go in a straight line in the shape of an asterisk. If you guys can learn this to try and just dodge your way out of the bomb it's going to make it a lot easier for you guys to just push closer to Squeak and get him down. But overall Squeak is undisputably the strongest brawler in the entire game. I'd highly recommend you guys max him out, unlock him, whatever it may be, and push him now before he gets nerfed. Well, anyway, guys, I think that's going to go ahead and conclude today's video. Mahalo nui loa, ahui ho, see you guys in the next one.